Imagine late one night you couldn't sleep, so you got out of bed and looked out the window. There you saw a giant. That's what happened to a little girl named Sophie. There across the street was a giant with a long, thin trumpet and a large suitcase. Then the giant saw Sophie. Sophie jumped back into bed and under the covers. But the giant right reached through the window and grabbed her. Then he ran all night until they reached his enormous cave in giant country. Now what has us got here? The giant putting the trembling Sophie on the table. Now he's really going to eat me, Sophie thought. The giant stared hard at Sophie. He had truly enormous ears. Each one was as big as the wheel of a truck. I is hungry, he grinned, showing massive square teeth. Please don't eat me. Just because I is a giant, you think I is a man goblin candy bowl? Me gobbling up a human beings? Uh, this I never. All the other giants is gobbling them up every night, but not me. I is the big at friendly giant. I is the VFG. What is your name? My name is Sophie. Sophie said, hardly daring to, to believe the good news that she had just heard. But if you're so nice and friendly, then why did you snatch me from my bed and run away from me? Because you saw me. I can't possibly allow anyone to be seeing me and staying at home. The first thing you'd be doing is you'd be scuttling around yodeling the news that you were actually seeing a giant. And then people would be coming rushing and pushing after me, and they would be catching me and putting me in the zoo with all those squiggling hippodumplings and crocodile dillies. Sophie knew what the giant said was true. If any person actually reported actually having seen a giant, there would certainly be a terrific hullabaloo. For a few moments, the cave was silent. May I ask you a question? May I ask you a question? Shoot away. Would you please tell me what you were doing? What you were doing in our village last night? Why? Why were you poking that long, that long trumpet in thing into those kids' bedroom? And and blowing through it, and that suitcase you were carrying. What was, what on earth was that all about? If you is really want to know what I'm doing in your village, I is blowing a dream into the bedroom of those children. Blowing a dream? What do you mean? I is a dream blowing giant. When all the other giants is galloping off to swallow up human beings, I is scuttling away to blow dreams in the bedroom of sleeping children. Nice dreams, lovely golden dreams. Dreams that is giving the dreamers a happy time. Now hang on a minute. Where do you get these dreams? I collect them. The BFG waved them around all the rows and rows of bottles on the shelves. I have billions of them. You can't collect a dream. A dream isn't something that you can catch hold of. You is never going to understand about it. That is why I is not wishing to tell you. Oh, please, tell me. I don't understand. Tell me how you collect dreams. The BFG settled himself comfortably in his giant chair. Dreams is very mysterious things. They is floating around the air like little wispy, misty bubbles. And all the time they is searching for sleeping people. Can you see them? Never to begin with. Then how do you catch them? A dream as it goes whiffling through the air, night air is making tiny little buzzing hum noise. But this buzzy hum is so slivery soft, it is impossible for a human being to be hearing it. Can you hear it? The BFG pointed up as the, at his enormous truck wheel ears. Is you seeing these? How could I miss them? These ears maybe is looking a bit preposterous to you. But they is very extra usual ears indeed. They is allowing me to hear absolutely every single twiddly little thing. You mean you can hear things I can't hear? You is as deaf as a dumpling compared to me. I is hearing the footsteps of, so late, of a ladybug as she goes walking across the leaf. Honestly? Sophie was beginning to be impressed. What else can you hear? I can hear plants and trees. Do they talk? They is not exactly talking, but they is making noises. For instance, if I come along and I is picking a lovely flower, if I is twisting the stem of the flower until it breaks, the plant is screaming. I can hear it screaming very clear. How awful! It is the same with trees and flowers. 
If I was chopping an axe into the trunk of a big tree, I is hearing a terrible sound coming from inside the heart of a tree. What sort of sound? A soft moaning sound. It is like the sound of an old man he is making when he is dying slowly. Is that really true? You think I is swizz figgling with you? It's rather hard to believe. Then I is stopping right here. I is not wishing to be called a fibster. Oh no, I'm not calling you anything. I believe you. I do really. Please go on. The BFG regarded her gravely with his huge eyes. I hope you will forgive me if I tell you that human beings is thinking they are very clever, but they is not. They is nearly all of them, not muchers and squeak pips. I beg your pardon? The matter with human beings is that they is absolutely refusing to be to believe in anything unless they see it right in front of their own schnozzles. She had offended him. She could see that. Please forgive me and go on. Uh, tell me how you catch these dreams. The BFG gave her a long, hard stare and then, sa and then said, The same way you was catching butterflies with the net. He reached out and picked up a pole. It was about three feet long and there was a net at the end. Here is the dream catcher. Every morning I is going out and snitching new drinks to put in my bottles. The BFG put down the pole. Then he picked Sophie off the table and stood her on the palm of one of his huge hands. He carried her towards the shelves. These are some of the good dreams. The, p the fizz wizards. Every dream is having its uh, is having its special label on the bottle so I can find it in a hurry. Would you hold me closer so I can read them? Sophie started to read the labels. I is inventing a car that runs on toothpaste. I is able to make the electric lights go on and off just by wishing it. I is an eight-year-old year old little boy, but I is growing a splendid bushy beard and all the other boys is jealous. I has a pet bee that makes rock and roll music when it flies. I is able to jump out of any high window and float down safely. I like that dream. Of course you like it. It's a fizz wizard. It's a ring better. It's a wopsy. This will be giving some little toddler a very happy night when I was blowing it in. Look in the jar carefully and I think you will be seeing this dream. Sophie peered into the jar. And there, sure enough, she saw the faint, transcellent outline of something ab about the size of a hen's egg. There was just a touch of color in it, a pale sea green, soft and shimmering and very beautiful. There it lay, quiet, quite peaceful, but pulsing gently as though it were breathing. It's moving! It's alive! Of course it's alive. What will you feed it? It's not needing any food. But everything alive needs food, even trees and plants. A dream is not needing anything if it is a good one. Mackenzie Lane to the office. Mackenzie Lane to the office. It is waiting peace, peaceably forever until it is released and allowed to do its job. So Sophie, Sophie went silent. It, this extraordinarily... This extraordinary giant was disturbing her ideas. He seemed to be leading her towards mysteries that were beyond her understanding. You is a lovely little girl, but please remember that you is not exactly Miss Know Everything. Dreams is very mystical things. Human beings is not understanding them at all.